Hi. How does the saying go? It is better to be lucky than good. Right down the middle. Luck or not, a good swing in golf is always welcome. Uh, other than my family, probably the most important thing in my life is playing golf. It's one of those things you get addicted to. Al Parker is addicted to the links. He likes the challenge, the precision, the finesse. Retired now, Al started 2023 with big plans to be on many a fairway. Oh yeah, they did change. I, I had to cancel some of my uh, golf trips this year. But this oh, year, he was not as lucky. Almost feels uh, normal. Or was he? Because in January, yeah, this yeah. golfer got a CAT scan oh. at Baycare to get a heart condition checked. And then I got the phone call, hey, uh, you got a uh, blocked artery, and, and by the way, there's a spot on your lung. A spot he got biopsy. Yeah. Dr. T, how are you? Hey, good to see you. It's good to see you. You look great. At Morton Plant's Nodule Clinic, these are his doctors, cardiothoracic surgeon Michael Kayata and pulmonologist Joseph Romero. Hey, my friend, you doing all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm back playing golf. In the lung nodule clinic, biopsies are done to nodules, lesions, and masses to see if they're cancerous. So this is the ion uh, robot bronchoscopy by Intuitive. This device right here for the last two years has made it easier to catch cancer early making many cases curable instead of just treatable. So it allows us access to things we really didn't have access to before. All right, smaller things, things in places that were deemed too dangerous or too risky to get after, we're, we're going after pretty much all of them now. And Dr. Romero did Al's biopsy. Here's how it works. The camera goes into the endotracheal tube. Through a person's mouth and into their lungs. You can see the light from the camera through the model. So we're all the way back in the airway and we progress forward using the controls. Guided by Dr. Romero, he searches for the problem area that is pre-mapped out before the surgery starts. The virtual model here that's, that's created by the CAT scan essentially almost perfectly matches what we see in real life. In Al's case, his lung nodule was cancer stage one. Dr. Kiata did the surgery to take it out. The early diagnosis of Al's lung cancer saved him. And so it is often diagnosed in the later stages where there really isn't much of a chance of, of cure. Um, but if we're able to find it at the earliest stage, like a stage one lung cancer, we can cure those patients. When Al was in this room last, he was under anesthesia. But I didn't get to see this, so this is awesome. You can follow that blue line to the left. He even gave the ion robot a try. Oh, I'm all the way through. Yeah, nice right. job. Good job. Oh, all right. Kind of like playing golden tea. Certainly not the same as real golf. And a day later out here, Al shared his tearful perspective on it all. I'm a Christian, so I, I feel like I got led by the hand. You see, he knows others are not so lucky, like his very close friend. They were looking and looking and looking. By the time they finally figured it out, he was stage three. And now he's stage four. It's in his liver. It's in his lungs. And they give him less than a year to live now. Unlike his friend, Al's early diagnosis and treatment means he will live. He won't even need chemo or radiation. Well, every day is a blessing now. Uh, Every day that I wake up, it's, it's a great day. I don't have bad days anymore. Cancer free and out here at Ardea Country Club, Al only has one real one. Just pay for my golf. <laughs> Something he will get to keep doing now for years to come. In Pinellas County with photojournalist Tim Kenya, I'm Aaron Murray, Spectrum News.